Hi, I'm your Kingdom Spiritual Transformational and Life Purpose Life Coach Patricia Booker here with Kingdom Business. Well, we are empowered. When we heal, we get delivered, we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers, we are real changers, we are dream successors. We are wealth generators, we are manifestors, we are curse breakers, and we most definitely are transformers. More than me, CI. Yeah, kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, thank you so much for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes. The subscribes, the shares, for all of the financial contributions to my channel, for all of the seeds that you sow into me and my ministry. Thank you, Kingdom People, for all your comments by email and for all of your um, inspirational stories, testimonies, topics, subjects that you all sent in for the upcoming podcast show and the upcoming radio talk show. Kingdom People, thank you all so very much. I really appreciate everything you do here on Kingdom Business. Thank you, kingdom people. And so you already know what I'm here to do. And if you don't know, then now you know. I am here to drop this beat, this word, this message. And, and, mm, yeah. Kingdom people, I am the chain breaker. Are you ready to break some chains? Let's go. So kingdom people, this is part two of your anointing, strength, and confidence offends them. Part two. Although this is part two, I'm actually going to title this, They Want You to Feel Left Out. <laughs> because. The reason being, you will see why. So this is what's going on. First, let me point this out. In my video, my previous video, your anointing, your strength, and your confidence offends them. What I spoke about was how people are offended by your anointing, your strength, and your confidence. And so, what I didn't include in that video, which is why I'm including it here, is this. That's the same thing that was going on with Jesus came to people. The Pharisees, the Sudicees, and whoever us sees <laughs> that were offended by Jesus were offended by his anointing, his strength, his confidence, his presence. I mean, we could go on and on. They were just offended by who he was. They were offended by him. Get this, kingdom people. Because he was different. He stood out. He didn't go along with what they were on. But the truth is, he was Jesus. He was who he was. They were offended by that. Because, again, they were living a certain kind of life. And he wasn't with that. He was, he walked with God. I mean, he kind of was God. Yeah, Jesus God, Jesus was God's son, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um That's why they were offended because his truth offended them. The truth offended them. He told the truth. He walked in truth. He was the truth. He was, I'm hearing he's the, was the truth, the way and the life. He still is. He's the truth, the way and the life. They didn't like that. Because they were living in their own ways and doing their own thing. And he interrupted that. But the thing is, that's what he came to do. He said, he even said he came to bring, he didn't come to bring peace. He came to bring discord. Now that don't mean he didn't bring peace. But in this sense, it caused some discord. He ruffled some feathers. What came to people? Your anointing, your strength, your confidence... And some other stuff, your walk with God, all that. It ruffles their feathers. It offends them. But the point is, just like Jesus. Just like Jesus. So what you're experiencing is the same thing Jesus experienced, kingdom people. Now, let me go off into this other part that God dropped on me. 
between last night and this morning. Like I said, it's part two, but we gonna title this. They want you to feel left out. We gonna call it that. The Pharisees and the Sudacees wanted Jesus to be like them, but he wasn't. So in some ways, they wanted him to feel left out of what they were doing. In other words, they wanted him to conform to what they were doing and the way they lived. But he was Jesus. They were in, in darkness. And Jesus was the light. I'm hearing again the truth, the way, and the life. But he was the light. He was Jesus. So where I'm going with this kingdom people is this. There are some people that want you to feel left out. But they're in utter darkness. People are doing things. They're positioning themselves and they're setting up stuff, trying to come do things so that you can notice them. And they want you to feel left out. But the problem is, they want you to feel left out of their darkness. They are, these are dark entities. These are people that are in darkness, kingdom people. And they want you to feel left out. When I became aware of that, when this was, when I was, look, when God was dropping this on me and not being kind of experiencing it, it, it stressed me out because I'm like, why would I feel left out? Of, out? I'm not one, we're not one to feel left out anyway. Because what God has for us is for us, kingdom people. We only want what God has for us. But it amazed me when people that are in darkness think they can appear we can want that you know what i'm saying especially when they already know you don't want it you don't want no parts of their darkness and I, I, god kept giving me utter darkness literally and then this morning he started dropping on me cursed so it's like they want you to feel left out of their cursed they're cursed they're cursed these are cursed people they want you to feel left out of their darkness their dark entities and they're trying to make you feel left out, kingdom people, as if you want a part of that. So, I don't know. Like I said, it, it kind of ties into your anointing, your strength, your confidence. It offends them. However, they're trying to turn it around and make you, want you to feel like you left out want you to feel of course you don't feel that way can the people but this is what they're wanting you to feel like you you're not a part of the darkness this is do y'all hear what i'm saying they want you to feel like you left out of the darkness this is my take yep i am left out of the darkness i don't want no parts of the darkness and neither do you kingdom people but people are listen some of y'all already experiencing this and if you're not you're gonna you're gonna be Many of you, I'm only confirming what you already know. Excuse me, y'all. I'm turning down my heat. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and no, I ain't taking off no clothes. <laughs> I ain't in darkness like that. Anyway, kingdom people, for real though. Like I said, you are experiencing, some of you all are experiencing things. And that's what it is. I'm just here to confirm it or to give you clarity on what's happening. God told me it's clear as day this morning. Speak on this because it ain't just you. It is not just you. It ain't just me, what I mean. So, yeah, these people trying to make y'all feel left out of darkness. And you like, yeah, I'm left out of darkness and I want to be. You want to be left out of the darkness. You don't want no parts of whatever these people got going on because it's all dark. And I, I'm hearing again, utter darkness. These are people that are in utter darkness. You know it. They know it. I want to say everybody know it. People know. But they want you to feel left out. And you're the complete opposite kingdom people. And again, it goes back to them being offended by your anointed. Your anointing, your anointing, <laughs> your strength and your confidence. And again, they're turning it around. Want you to feel like you left out when the truth is they the ones feel left out. 
because they're in utter darkness. You want to, you in a bless in the flow of blessings. God is blessing you. You, God is walking you into your promised land. You in, you carry all this light kingdom people. The promises of God I'm hearing end in yes and amen. And that's what you're getting. That's what you're walking into. All the promises of God. That's it. That's all for you. It don't matter what, who did, what, Travis. It doesn't matter. What God said is so. And he's literally walking you into that. And they want you to feel left out of the darkness. When you walking in this light. You walking into this wonderful, beautiful. I mean, listen. I just heard glorious, heavenly life, this heavenly place. God is really doing some great things in some of you all, but, but you have um, been traveling and laboring for years. You've been walking this out with God for a long time. You know, you've been doing the inner work, which is why your anointing is so strong. Your strength is so strong. Your confidence is so strong, but they want you to feel left out of something that ain't good <laughs> they want you to feel like you missing out king of people i was like whoa when god started showing me this i'm like that's what that's all about like no i don't want no parts of that we don't want no parts of that king of people but they want you to feel like you missing something they want you to feel like you missing the darkness the dark the devil and then i'm gonna leave it alone king of people I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all get what I'm saying. And many of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because you're experiencing it. Maybe you didn't quite realize that this is what was going on. But they want you to feel like you're missing out on the darkness. Because that's what it is. On being used by the devil. When you in a positive, you in all these high frequencies and high vibrations, your spirit is like lit. You feeling good, smelling good, eating good. You just doing it. God is opening up doors, making ways. You you are entering into the best season of your life. That's where you're going. And they want you to feel left out of something that's completely negative and dark. And let me tell you what God kept giving me this morning. They These people are a burden. These ones that's doing this, they are a burden. They are like dead weight, which leads me to this. The reason why they want you to feel left out, like you're not a part of their darkness, is because they're trying to come and eat up your light. They're trying to come and eat off your tree because you got some good fruit. Yeah, they didn't try it all kind of, we already know. But the point is, their tactic right now is to try to make you feel left out of the darkness <laughs> i can't the people i cannot make this up i used to always be like i don't get it how am i gonna fall for that when i know what it is and my mama used to always say she don't have to say it no more because i get it they don't know you know it's a whole lot i know that i don't say but it still blow me let me tell you why because these ones, kingdom people in particular, that want you to feel left out of the utter darkness. They want out of their dim. Because like I said, these are burdensome people. They are burdened. Like I said, they're dead weight. These are people you don't want to have nothing to do with. It's very clear what kind of spirit they're operating in. What kind of people they are. You don't want to have no parts of them. And they know it. Yet they want you to feel left out of their burden because that's what i was getting they're burdened they're burdened and they are burdened some people you know how people can be heavy you know just like way down it's just like they spirits just ain't right they don't even feel right and they want you to feel like you missing out on that <laughs> you missing out on their burdens and on all that and on all their toxicity and on all their misery and all whatever they got going on that's chaotic, toxic, devilish. They want you to feel like you're missing out on that kingdom people. But again, that's a tactic because really they're trying to get what you got. You know, they always trying a different tricks. Anyway, kingdom people, I think I've made my point. I'm going to 
let that rest right there. If you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Then click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button and so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video, something like this from Kingdom People. If you're interested in any other services that I presently offer, you can find all that information right down below in the description box. Also, if you would like a free copy of my my, my book, The Girl in the Mirror by Sheila Brooks, the ebook actually, if you would like to download a free copy of that, Sheila Brooks is my PN name. You can go ahead and email me at keenontrishagmail.com and I will get that information out to you so that you can download a free copy of that ebook. If you would like to just support and purchase the book, you can find it on Amazon. You can, um, you can actually find it, um, well, on Amazon for sure right now. And that link is also right down below in the description box. So what else, Kingdom people? If you would like to be a blessing to me and my ministry or my channel, you can cash out me at cash.me backslash dollar sign capital L capital B O O K E R and the number one again that is cash.me backslash dollar sign capital L capital B O O K E R and the number one you can also PayPal me at paypal.me backslash Latricia Booker again that is paypal.me backslash Latricia Booker. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we most definitely are transformers more than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, I love you all so very much. I really do appreciate you being here with me, spending this time with me. You could be anywhere else, but you chose to be here with me. And I thank you for that. Kingdom people, with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all. That is my time. Jesus, girl, she's out. Peace.